Reverse extensions are yet another way to target your lower back and core with the Swiss ball. Reverse extensions flex and extend your lumbar spine using the weight of your lower body for resistance. I focus on smooth, precise movement for 5 to 10 repetitions. Like the straight leg bridge and regular back extensions on the ball, the goal is quality movement, not huge resistance. However, beginners may feel this exercise is quite challenging. The novelty of this exercise is that your torso is fixed while your lower body moves. Lean over the ball and walk your hands forward, balancing your hips on top of it. Inhale, raising your legs into alignment with your torso, and slowly exhale back down. Inhale up, exhale down. Flex and flatten your lumbar spine when you're lowering your legs, arch and extend when you're raising them. Inhale up, slowly exhale back down, flexing around the ball. Make sure you flex and extend your lumbar spine rather than just moving at your hips. Experiment with different hand positions. Your arms can be extended out in front of you or bent, or you can hold onto the bottom of the ball. Keep your lower abdominals engaged and concentrate on producing smooth, controlled movement with an economy of effort. I'd like to superset this exercise with reverse crunches, which we looked at in our previous episode. Remember, reverse extensions on the Swiss ball are not intended to challenge the absolute strength of your back or hips. Use this exercise to add variety to your program and test your nervous system's ability to control your lower back and core in a novel movement pattern. Thanks for watching and please visit our website, bridgelinefitness.com, for more information.